Welcome, everybody. This is On Top and Hot, and I am John Zadar. And today we've got a special show for you. We've got another interview. Today we are focusing in on STEM Tech Corporation, ticker S-T-E-K. STEM Tech is involved in the production and sale of adult stem cell nutrition and personal care products and currently has subsidiaries in the USA, Canada, Mexico, Malaysia, Ecuador, and they are now currently moving into South America and Africa as well. The company specializes in dietary supplements that help nourish stem cells, boost the immune system, and help the body heal itself. Now, this is most important, folks. The products of Stem Tech do not contain stem cells. They include natural botanicals and other ingredients that help stimulate and activate stem cells to perform better. And today we are joined by a few of the top management from the company to explain all that they're involved with. We are joined by the CEO, this is Chuck Arnold, the president of the company, John Meyer, and somebody, if I think I can bring him in here just so you can see who we're talking about, Mr. Gabe Rodriguez. Where are you at, Gabe? There he is. Hello, Gabe. So here's our team. Gabe is going to be in the background listening. He's our communications expert. When he has something to say, we'll bring him on. Otherwise, he's going to be sitting in the back listening to us. See ya, Gabe. <laughs> so, gentlemen, we have got a lot to discuss here. You've got a very interesting company. You've got very interesting products. And I want you to explain what's going on with your company right now because over the last few years, you've had a lot of changes, a lot of situations. You just went public in 2021 through a reverse takeover merger. And since then, there have been some changes. So starting with your team, starting with the management, tell us about you. Tell us about the company, where you're coming from and where you're heading. Let's start off with uh, John. We'll move on to Chuck. Well, thank you, John. It's a pleasure to be here. Uh, it's exciting for us to present STEM Tech. Uh, the company began in 2005, and I joined the company in 2006. So I just celebrated my 18th anniversary with the company and wow. going through it all. Chuck, you got something to add to that? Absolutely. It's good to be here, John. Um, Thank you. I represented a group of investors. We acquired the company in uh, late 2018, have reorganized it, and are taking on the world, allowing people to take our products, which are all natural, and stimulate the release of their own stem cells. See, when you hit about 40 years age, John, you, your body stops releasing your stem cells, and this causes aging and the, the degradation of your organs and your body. What our product does, and it's patented and all natural, it goes into your bone marrow, extracts your own stem cells and circulates them through your body. They find the areas of inflammation in your body where they need it and they repair its own body. So our products help the body repair itself. It's an outstanding product. In fact, that now I know stem cells have been hot for decades, but it's been how we source those stem cells, which have always been the concern. They say the best stem cells you're going to get are your own stem cells. But to get them, you normally have to put a needle in your bone and pull them out, which is no pleasure experience. This, you don't even know what's happening, except that you feel better, not worse. It's very exciting to me what, what you're doing. Now, Thank are you. any of the products approved by FDA? John, I'm going to let you answer that one. Uh, we are a nutri nutraceutical company, and as such, there is no FDA approval required for our products. However, we are regulated under the Dietary Supplemental Health and Education Act, which is under the FDA, so that if there are ever any issues with the products that uh, the FDA does get involved but we've never had any issues over the years and we comply with all of the standards and we manufacture to CGMP uh, 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 processes uh, and everything is, uh, you know, right. uh, consumed. We've got 18 years or 19 years actually worth of, you know, history where people have benefited from the product. In fact, John, just so you know, 
The company has sold $600 million of product. We've had less than a 2% return, and we've never had a recall or an upgrade from our manufacturing. Never a problem. That sounds a lot. That now, let's back up a little bit. You say you've been around for 18, almost 20 years, but you just went public in 2021. I know you had some situations prior to COVID, then COVID hit. That, that hurt a lot of companies. And then you started reorganizing. Can you give us some history on how and where you've come from and where you're heading to? <laughs> the company um, was expanding and in uh, the 2014, actually, uh, we hit $72 million in revenue. And uh, then uh, we had uh, prior management uh, conflicts uh, that uh, kind of pulled apart uh, the top level of the company. And there was also uh, litigation, but it was not related to the product. It was a copyright infringement which unfortunately uh, the, the company lost that uh, adjudication, which put us into uh, a difficult situation. Right, I did read there was like a $1.5 million payout that you had to do for, for that. 1.6, but who's counting? <laughs> yeah, we're counting, we're counting. And John, then uh, yes. John, we came in and my group of investors in 2018 and put additional capital in the company. And some of the reasons we did, because from the beginning of the company starting till when we came in, it had been listed in Inc. Magazine four different times as one of the fastest growing companies in America. And we saw what they have is a new column. It's stem cell nutrition. It's like you said earlier, it's not taking a needle and, and extracting something and put it in. It's right. letting your body heal itself. So when people ask me, Chuck, what does your product do? I say we do one thing. We extract your own stem cells. We release them from your bone marrow. And then the miracle of the stem cell happens. <laughs> I like your excitement. I like your excitement. John, there's a difference since we're talking about it. When we talk about the extraction of the stem cells uh, using external sources, it's a medical procedure. That's basically categorized as stem cell therapy. And it's right. gaining in popularity, but that's, again, medical. It's expensive, and you have to do it over again, whereas our process is all natural. It releases your adult stem cells to flow naturally through your body and perform the miracle of the stem cells, circulate through your blood system to transport and migrate into the area of the body that needs the help. And in general, What's really exciting is that when stem tech began in 2005, the concept of stem cell nutrition was brand new. It was essentially an education process where people had to be explained what this process actually is. You talk to people and their eyes glaze over because they didn't know stem cells back then. Well, over the years, through the benefits of our business model, there are more and more people that are understanding the benefit of nutritional supplementation to perform this miracle of the stem cells. And on top of that, we have um, the benefit of much more notoriety. Pharma, other biotech companies are realizing the power of the stem cells in general. And this is like free advertising for stem tech because we are part of that. The industry in 2023 generated $4.6 billion worth of revenue and is projected uh, by research and marketing publication that by 2030, the industry will be at $30 billion. We're on a wave with this. This is the power of stem cell nutrition that we're part of. Right, right. Yeah, stem cells... The magic of stem cells, and I didn't know this, is that they turn into whatever cell you need. I mean, can, can you explain that to me? Because that is the magic to me, that a stem cell is the magic molecule that transforms into healing wherever you need your healing? That's correct. The stem, adult stem cells specifically are undefined cells. They are the master cells. They can become a heart cell, a brain cell, a kidney cell, a liver cell, a pancreatic cell. So their effect is they go to the area of the body that's signaling that it needs help. And the adult stem cells then becomes, let's say, a heart cell. 
And as a result of that, a repair is effected to make the, the, the organ or the tissue uh, back to its normal uh, condition. That's the miracle of the stem cells. And John, we've had the product out long enough where every week, John and I hear testimonials of people we've helped. Unfortunately, with the, the FDA laws, we're not allowed to make these claims. But right. the results that we get from people with normal maladies as you grow old are unbelievable. It's what drives John and I to go forward, the excitement of the people that use our products. Can you give us some examples of what sort of ailments, problems, pains this helps, just so people have an idea of how far it can reach? Sure. Well, as an example, you know, if someone has uh, a joint pain, it helps uh, uh, work on the joint so it lessens the, uh, the, the, uh, the condition. Uh, the inflammation. Yes. Uh, and if you have, uh, for example, a lot of people have problems controlling their sugar, uh, you know, being too high. So if you take the product, you know, it will help uh, in that area as well. Interesting. I mean, are, are there any limitations? I mean, are, should we not expect certain things like healing diseases, uh, uh, regrowing a tooth? I mean, is there, there's obviously li limitations of what stem cells can do, but do we know the limitations? Actually, no, we don't. Um, but, you know, we can, uh, we make no claims that it, it does all of these things. All that stem tech does is says, we can help release, circulate, and migrate right. your cell stem cells for the miracle. Beyond that, it's the body doing its own natural uh, process. But when you look at this, John, you can, you can actually pick up any paper, any magazine, anything, and hear the effects or the miracle of the stem cell. Because yeah. all the things that you mentioned are affected by your stem cells. And when you have stem cells, millions of stem cells, recirculating through your body, the results that we have found are astounding, astounding. As Chuck mentioned earlier, uh, he said that, you know, uh, when you, as you age, you know, the release process slows down. Well, that in effect defines aging. As we, as our release slows down naturally, we get older. Well, with the release of the adult stem cells through the Semtech products, it helps revitalize so that you are in effect being offered anti-aging and longevity because of the body's natural uh, process. Right. And John, we get, we get that validated. We get that validated all the time. Every day we get calls from people and say, I can't believe this. I can do this and I couldn't do this months ago. Or some new uh, change has happened to my body that stopped something that was wrong. Uh, we get that all the time and it puts smiles on our face faces i bet i bet how many stem cells are being released what first off how many stem cells does the average adult have in the, their body how many are they releasing normally and what sort of increase are your products doing well the release is the, the number of stem cells that we have in our body are you know millions and millions and how many they're releasing uh you know it's a depends on the individual uh, you know, their, whatever is their uh, situation and quantifying the number of uh, stem cells being released is um, infinitesimal. <laughs> okay. So I want to talk a little bit here. We're, we're going to come back to your products here because they are the primary focus, but you've got a very unique aspect to your business that most businesses on the public markets do not have. And that is that you are an MLM, correct? Yeah, yes, sir. For folks who don't know what an MLM is, multi-level marketing, people like to call it networking. You're familiar with, with these companies, though you didn't know it. We have Amway. Everybody knows Amway. How about Avon, Tupperware, uh, New Skin, Herbalife, Mary Kay. All of these companies are multi-level marketing. Now, specifically... Multi-level marketing is every person in the business being a part of that business. It's like a family tree. Your great, 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 great grandfather is way up here and you're way down here with all these other relatives. Well, you could not exist had not your grandfather and everybody else in that chain, your tree, 
did what they were supposed to do. Multi-level marketing pays you for starting all of that. You're the first person. They have a plan of bringing in five people. They teach you how to bring in five people, teach them how to manage their business. Those five people do the same thing. That's the next level. So now you've got 25 people. Those 25 do the same thing, 125, 600, 3,000. Uh, and it just keeps going to 15,000, 75,000. And you'll get paid a little bit for every single person down that chain. And everybody above you is making money from you on down. And that's how you make money in MLMs is through residual income. You do your job once, you get paid for it over and over again. But what's really important with MLMs is their excitement, folks. I got to tell you what, multi-level marketing, every single person is a customer. They buy their own products. That supports the business from the ground floor. Then they sell these products to other people. Every person they meet could be a business opportunity. Somebody who wants to run their own life, be in business for themselves, be in charge of their own hours. MLM does this. And there is no ceiling on MLMs, folks. <laughs> MLMs can go to the public market like Tupperware. Tupperware is on the public market. She's been running hard these last few days. So don't think because you're MLM, you have limitations. I think MLMs are outstanding business models because of the excitement, the enthusiasm. Every single person is advertising for the company, all of them, because it's their own personal business. So there is a lot of word of mouth out there. It, am I explaining that pretty good, yeah, guy? Yes, yes, you are. In a little, a little more detail, even. When the <laughs> started, I wasn't even there. John was there. I, I got involved a few years ago when I saw the great opportunity. But when stem cells were first brought out by Stemtech, our products, nobody even knew what a stem cell was. They didn't identify it, so you you couldn't turn on an advertising, John, and see about stem cells. So we had to have our people explain it. And so when you have a person that's using the product, explain it, it offers a whole new different concept than somebody that doesn't. And with our product, we're rather unique in the stem cell industry. So we don't, we don't carry products that are not stem cell related. Our goal is by the next few years, we want to have stem tech available in every neighborhood in the world where the average person can get their products nutritionally take their vitamins every day, release their own stem cells, and not have to worry about a lot of expense. Our product's really reasonable for the average family to have that. And as the families are using the product, they can talk to their friends, tell their friends about them, and generate an income, just like you said, from everyone that they introduce our product to. John, we are about improving the quality of life in two ways. You did an excellent job of describing network marketing or multi-level marketing. That's one dynamic of it. The other is the benefit of the products. So Stemtech offers two different prongs of approach here. The quality of your life is improved because you're reaping the benefits of taking the products. And if you choose to do it as a business, then you're earning an income and facilitating your quality of life because you have funds to live the life the, life the way that you want to. And that freedom to do that is just one of the tremendous benefits. So we offer these two things. The quality of life is what is our focus for everybody. What I like about it is that it is individuals helping individuals. Yes. You, derive, you derive a satisfaction from that, that you actually helped another human being. And you're helping yourself as well. The other thing I like about your company is multi-level marketing was a very hot deal here in America back in the 80s and the 90s. I was in quite a few multi-level marketing companies. My father started me off when in the 80, uh, 70s, he was in Glenn W. Turner Enterprises. It was a strange business. You can read about it in the rich and the super, super rich. Uh, but it turned out to be more of a pyramid, which is illegal. Multi-level marketings are legal. Pyramids are not legal. Well, in either case, we have kind of pulled away from it here in America. But the opportunity is hot in places like South America, Africa, Mexico, they see the opportunity of being in control of their lives, being in control of their finances, being able to help other people and drive a pleasure from what it is they do every single day. So I see your companies being an exciting opportunity that's exploding in the rest of the world. We saw how hot it was here in America a couple of decades ago. I think it's going to be just as hot out there 
and because you've got a product that makes a real difference. We're not talking about a soap. We're not talking about a shampoo. We're talking about something that can lift your life up, make you feel better, better quality of life. And that's the bottom line to living, a better quality of life. John, when, when I got involved with this company, some of the exciting things I liked about it, because I, I've never been an MLM or I've never had the experience that you had, but I read stories about them. And what STEM tech does is different. When you set somebody up, let's say that you offer John Mayer your products, you don't have to deliver them to them. We send them out on a monthly basis. You don't carry any, any inventory. We offer a 100% money back guarantee. If somebody doesn't like our product, they can return it. And you mentioned growth. Right now, our biggest growth that we identify is Latin America. And John, if you look at the Latin American countries and you put it all together, do you know they represent the fifth largest economy in the world? The fifth largest economy in the world. Now we have people today that have started this as a part-time business and now they're generating more money than they were at their regular job. Of Some of them even leave their job and do this full time. So it offers a little bit to everyone. There's not an investment. You don't have to carry inventory. You're helping the people with a legacy of 18 years of a proven product. And so our interest is to take this out to the world, Latin America. Asia, other markets, like we have an office in Taiwan, and have everybody have access to our products that are all natural, patented, and really make a difference. It's, it's exciting it, because the whole world is your market. You know, yes, every, health is a, a situation everywhere. There's no place in the world that doesn't need your kind of product. And as long as they're willing to bring it in, there are going to be people who are willing to sell it. So, I mean, it's an exciting business. As I said, you have lots of advertising from all of your business owners. I've seen lots of it in Spanish. <laughs> you know, there was just lots and lots of pictures and uh, uh, explanations of the product that I couldn't read, but you could see how far it is spreading out there. You go to Google and put in STEM tech, there is a lot of information from independent representatives, which is what I really like. That you've got free advertising constantly coming out from all your people, free testimonies, coming out from all of your people all around the world. And stem cells are coming into the main view now of the public. We're understanding the value of them, but who the heck wants to get a needle in their vertebrae sure. to take care of this? You've got the easiest solution on the market. You know, John, the other thing that when you, when you look at this company, we brought in a group of investors. One, one of my investors is a man by the name of Daryl Green. He sits on the board with me. Daryl yeah. was the president of GNC when it went public for $1.3 billion. We believe in the next couple of months, we get to the end of breaking even. Once we've broken even, the profitability on this company, not just from our distributors, but from investors that are gonna own the stock can be exciting. This product is for the masses, the classes take it as well, but the average guy on the street that's worried about having an extra income for his family to pay the bills or looking to keep their health up because of the massive cost and expense of what goes on with the doctor's office today and those insurance costs, they're going to look at this as a, as a prime opportunity, not only to yes. make money, but to keep their health growing. And as a well, company... This is the year that we're going to break out and, and offer profitability to our shareholders as well. That is excellent. We're, we're going to get to your finances here in just a bit. Could you walk us through your key products that, that you have so that we can know exactly what you've got? Because they are very interesting products. I, I was even, the toothpaste is one that caught my attention. It's like toothpaste. How does this one work? So I'd like you to break down just briefly what each one of your products do. I'll bring them up here on the screen here so that you can show us what you got going. Let's start off with that first one you got here, release. Well, that's the key, John, that started the whole process with STEM tech. Fundamentally, the STEM release three, SR3, is the product that facilitates, uh, as you can imagine, your uh, bone marrow and your adult stem cells sitting together as two sides of Velcro. As we age, you know, the adult stem cells get cozy and comfortable and they don't release as naturally as they did when we were younger. 
Well, our product, again, plant-based, all natural, facilitates that release so that the two sides of the Velcro let go and allows the adult stem cells to go into your system to transport to the area of the body that's needed. So this is the power of the Stem Release 3. The next product is the Stem Flow, which helps facilitate the flow through your bloodstream, which is the transportation system that the adult stem cells use to travel through the body to get to the area that's needed, you know, through your arteries, your capillaries, your, okay. you know, and so that helps facilitate it because there's uh, fibrin is in your bloodstream and it kind of clogs your, your transport system, your arteries. So this helps clear some of the process so that the adult stem cells can travel to the area. And oh, then, I see. So it's like a snow plow, clearing everything out of the way so traffic can come through. That's that's the concept, yes. Uh, <laughs> and finally, the migration, mig MigraStem, is the product that helps facilitate the movement of the adult stem cells into the, like the heart, for example, that we were speaking of earlier. So it will attract that because the body is sending out signals of, I need help here. And so you got the release, the circulate, and finally the migration to where the adult stem cells could then affect the rejuvenation that it's being asked to perform. And it, as we've discussed earlier, the adult stem cell becomes uh, a heart cell or a kidney cell. Now, is it necessary to take all three for the synergy to work properly, or can somebody just take the release? The release is certainly uh, the premier product, uh, but we encourage everybody, if they can, to take the what we call the RCM system right. uh, so that it can have all of the benefits uh, of the rejuvenation. Gotcha. And you now, mentioned... Go ahead. You mentioned Oristem. That was developed in 2018, and it too is, uh, has stem cell related properties. Um, it was developed as a toothpaste, which is again, all natural. It has antimicrobial properties. It is a breath freshener, a tooth whitener. And what we think is very important, it promotes good gum health. Because if your gums are not in good condition, it leads to other maladies of the mouth. And the mouth is where we certainly introduce many of the germs into our bodies. Yeah. So using this all natural toothpaste, and if you look at the, it's all natural. If you look at a, a retail common on the market of a major brand of toothpaste, you look on the side of the package and it says, uh, do not swallow this toothpaste if you do contact poison control. Well. Huh. That's not because it has toxics and toxins in it. So if you look at ours, you know, you could swallow it if you wanted to. Don't suggest it, but you could without any adverse effect. So we start with looking at kind of the holistic approach uh, for our products and then moving. So we now have the RCM and we have the Oristem. And then we also included uh, in 2023 in January, we added Select One. Okay, hold on. Be before we move into select one, I do want to talk about that too. I got it lined up here. The toothpaste, I noticed, has no fluoride in it, right? We have no fluoride. Correct. Which is good. I don't know if a lot of people know it, but, you know, we've had fluoride in our toothpaste for 100 years. We've come up with new stuff for every single practical application in any other sector, but we've never found anything different than fluoride. Fluoride actually affects us in a lot of negative ways. We put it in our water. We put it in our toothpaste. It all goes into our mouth, our soft tissues, and we absorb it. I have not had fluoride in my system for about 10 years. I avoid it as much as I possibly can. And that was the first thing I noticed. If you had a toothpaste that actually whitens and brightens your teeth without the use of fluoride, which we do not need in our systems. So I was excited to hear that. Not to mention antioxidants and vitamins in my toothpaste. Now we're talking. I got to put it in my mouth three times a day. This is an excellent idea. And uh, it has properties that actually attract stem cells as well. Again, it's not a stem cell product, but it attracts stem cells to your mouth to affect your, you know, your gums, your tissues, uh, you know, for promoting better health. And that last product. Select one. This is a product that we're also very excited about because it fits in our niche of uh, stem cells. Um, for example, it was developed 
as uh, a skincare cream that would facilitate the moisturizing, improve skin elasticity, and more importantly, how is this done? It's done through a uh, deeper penetration of uh, the skin. It has a product, an ingredient, a patented ingredient, by the way, called QXP or red oak bark. And it facilitates the uh, breakdown of the metallic proteinase, metallic proteinase. I'm sorry if I didn't get that right. But it <laughs> breaks down the body's natural defense system to allow the stem cells to penetrate deeper under the skin. Matrix metalloproteinase, that's what it is. Um, and so this is a uh, rapid renew stem cell peptide night cream. And we played on words, spelling select, C-E-L-L-E-C-T. And it's very popular. I mean, I love putting it on, you know, I shave and I put it on and it just feels good. You can feel it, you know, tightening the skin and you have more of a glow and a, and a radiance. So this was the first product of potentially a line of skincare products that we would be uh, considering for introduction. So it's a great product. And all these products are available in all your places around the world. That's correct. Well, depending, uh, all of these products, we manufacture our products to be compliant with local country health regulations. So everything is uh, presented and approved by the health departments of a country uh, for all of the ingredients. And once we get that registered, then it becomes available in the market. And where are your manufacturing facilities how many do you have we have our primary manufacturing facility here in south florida and we also have uh, manufacturing partners in uh, um, mexico and taiwan planning on any more when the demand needs it then we will certainly expand into it right right Okay. Um, is there anything else you want to tell us about your products that I may not have found that you could share with us? Our products are exciting. We've had so many people that have benefited and improved their quality of life, their health uh, with taking the products. And we encourage everybody to uh, give it a, uh, a try. And we have it available uh, for purchase either as a consumer or as an independent business partners. We call them IBPs, our distributors that you were talking about earlier. And we prefer to set up our support for them by using our auto ship program where every month we automatically ship out based on what they've set it up for so that they have their supply of uh, product on hand. Auto ship is a key way uh, for them to keep in uh, in the product and share it. And as Chuck mentioned earlier, if they have a new customer, they can take one of theirs, uh, their products to give to that person if they're local, or we can set it up automatically to ship for them. We do not encourage people to require stocking a whole garage full of products. As a matter of fact, we're very opposed to that. Let us take care of carrying your inventory and shipping the product. You worry about finding more people to share this great experience with. Right. You know, John, John, right now, uh, the fastest growing industry globally is health and wellness. We think we're at the forefront of that. John mentioned the, uh, the growth in the stem cell market to 30 billion by the year 2030. But on a global level, the growth in the nutraceutical market will be $700 billion. And we have a category that's unique to ourselves. It's stem cell nutrition. So as people start to be more concerned about their health, and you know, we have an aging society globally now. We don't have a young society. People have gray hair like you and John and I. Well, it becomes really important when you get into your 40s to start looking at your stem cell nutrition because expanding that market, we think that we've got a product we can go into every country in the world and influence anybody re re regardless of their income or strata in life. Yeah, and considering that most of the world is elderly, I think there's more old people than there are younger people. You've got the lion's share of the market to work with. We do. And, and a lot of people, I noticed your products are available in a lot of places. You can 
You can buy them on Amazon through your distributors. You know, they've found their own places to sell this stuff. So it's in a lot of places. You can get it on Amazon. You can go to the Walmart online.com website. It's not in Walmart, but it's on the Walmart site. It is on eBay. There are lots of places online that these products can be bought. So trying to find them is not a problem. They are everywhere in multiple countries, in multiple languages. So getting your products isn't going to be a problem. And I'm sure it's just going to keep expanding. Do you have any clue how many distributors you have right now in your company? Well, right now we have about 10,000 uh, distributors. Yes. And then when you start thinking about exponential growth, <laughs> that can get pretty big because that's what it is. Each person helping another person or two, three or four and boom, boom, boom. Before you know it, it is huge in an area you just got to. And everybody We've just scratched the surface. Having 10,000 people is like having a neighborhood. We want to have right. millions of distributors. And so nobody coming to us has to worry about how much money they've got to invest. They don't have to. Nobody has to come and worry about how much time they can put in. All they've got to do is be concerned about their own health and tell their friends. It'll grow by itself. Anytime I'm traveling, John, I'll run into people and they'll ask me what I do. When I tell them about what I'm doing and I don't sell the product, I turn them over to a distributor. Everyone wants our product. So the whole world is wide open right now for Stemtex growth and expansion. Can we talk about Verb technology? Uh, we introduced uh, a mobile app uh, for utilization to facilitate communication, to provide an ease of contact with the company so that, in fact, our independent business partners, uh, if we ran into you on the street or as Chuck just said, he runs into somebody, you know, our independent business partner could say, well, if you were to look at a you know, short video, if I sent it to you, would you look at it? Well. Yes, we can do that and they share it. So instead of having to have the individual independent business partner come up with all the words, we, these are already words that we have approved and it tells the story succinctly and we can share that and that gets the engagement going. God, that's also, great. I wish we had had the computer back when I was not working. That would have been a great tool, you know, well, to be able well, to connect to an app and just give them a video right then and there instead of driving to their house. You know, God, I wish we had the computer. That, that's uh, exactly what's happening today. Some of the people like in Mexico, they use WhatsApp quite a bit. John and I are looking at other ways for a variety of uh, everything from uh, artificial intelligence to getting information out because the biggest issue that we have from here to a uh, uh, hundred million, two hundred million dollars is strictly being able to tell our information to the average consumer. So it's not one use anymore. We're going to be using multiple ways of marketing our product where distributors will have all of the data, as John said, available to send out right away, material, uh, backup information, but also the ability to reach the people that want to be concerned about their health and want to know about STEM tech or other ones that would like to have an opportunity yeah. to make some money. Yeah. All of this is very dynamic, John, because we're constantly looking for what is the new best thing that we can do. We're not sitting, waiting for just what we've done in the past. We're looking towards the future to make improvements for our people. And you've already proven this product is successful, but before COVID, you were doing pretty good. Then COVID came along and knocked everybody down and we're all rebuilding now. So it's not like this is a new product that is being put out there and we're seeing how it's accepted. It is being relaunched. It is being put back into the public eye. Now that we're through COVID, people are very health conscientious. They're thinking about it. This is a good time for your company, especially with AI coming out that's going to be able to probably do a lot more of uh, answering the questions on target very quickly, very smoothly. I see a lot of potential and growth for, for your business simply because it is down there at ground level with the people. I remember how multi-level marketing excites people because they have control in their own life. That's something we feel we're never getting. So you're not just giving us health. You're giving us control in our life, control in our finances. You're giving us an opportunity to help others do exactly the same thing, whether it be business or health. And I got to tell you, there is nothing better than making others feel better. That is such a good feeling. 
may not be a paycheck attached to it in my case, but in your case, God, what a bouquet. Beautiful. You know, it's a ground floor opportunity for both investors that are looking at our company as well as distributors. The world is wide open for us, but we have an 18 year track record of the product working. So we're very excited. We think we're in the right place at the right time and ready to take off. I do too. So let's talk about your financials a little bit and talk about your stock, um, turning away from your products. One of my concerns, and I brought this up with Gabe the other day, let, let me pull this up, is the fact that you've got a situation right now with your delinquent filings. And as an investor, we're always wondering about this. Now, Gabe has explained it to me, but I would like you to explain it to the viewers. Uh, we see we got a delinquent reporting here and you filed an NT10Q, which means you're late on your quarterly and your annual re reports. Are we to expect those anytime soon? And what is the situation with the delinquent SEC reporting? Well, the, uh, there's a lot going on in the world besides uh, STEM tech. Uh, for example, uh, the SEC has become very focused in making sure that all of the auditors uh, in the PCAOB environment are uh, crossing all the T's, dotting all the I's. There was a recent case where the SEC uh, shut down a an auditing firm that uh, was representing 387 clients and none of their financials were therefore accepted because of the violation uh, as defined by the SEC. I did read that. But I saw that there was like 1,500 filings that were wrong and about 300 public companies, 200 private companies, and it was like they didn't give us a list. Oh no, what companies is it? Yeah. So there's there's some of this involved that the auditors are looking at uh, in, with great intensity because it's not just auditing uh, our uh, company, it's they are being audited for their compliance. So that right. is part of this delay in the filings. The, the other thing is this, you know, we're, we're a small company so far, but we're an international company. Right. And the amount of work we've had to do with the economic market uh, conditions of the money exchanges from Taiwan and Mexico and Canada and Ecuador have gotten this down to where John and I have spent the last month and a half providing more data, actually spending more time than the original uh, cost of, of doing those businesses. So they want a breakdown of cost of goods, how it affects the economic conditions of bringing the monetary systems in. But to answer your question, John, I think we're right about at the end. And I think we're going to be able to file real soon because there hasn't been a question that has been asked that we don't have an answer for. And I believe even our paranoid auditors are now at the point that they're going to be ready to sign off any day now. Wouldn't you say so, Mr. Mayor? I would uh, hopefully uh, concur with, not hopefully, I concur with that. Uh, and certainly uh, we're working together with our auditing team to provide all the information that they ask so that they can sign off and that we can file. Um, is there a anything we need to know? I noticed that your financials are improving. Your revenues are growing. Your profits are growing. Comparing it to years back. Now, I saw your stock was up at $11 back in 2022. Right now, we're down here at $0.05. Cents, but you're making more money now than you were back then. So things are improving right now. Things are growing. Your stock, you've got a nice share count here. We've got outstanding share count. Let me pull this up so everybody can see what I'm looking at. That helps. You've got a decent share structure here of uh, 116 million outstanding. Looks like the insiders own a lion's share. You got 65 million in there and we get 50 million. It's looking nice. Do we have any plans of a stock split? I got to ask that well, question, folks. Uh, you know, John, where we're, we're looking at is we want to be on a larger exchange. And as we grow, when you mentioned $11, when we first came out, the company jumped to a $450 million market cap versus the 5 to $6 million it is today. Wow. What happened was our initial investors that had put up money in 2018 
excluding myself and a gentleman, as I had mentioned, Daryl Green, made a fortune selling this at hundreds of times their initial cost of, of the product. Now, John and I have concentrated on building the company, reorganizing it, and changing things that we thought needed to be changed over the last few years. We haven't really paid attention to the stock market very much as far as the cost because the money's been going into the company. This year in 2024, as we're starting to market our product, we're going to market our stock. And I think that we are the ideal definition of an opportunity for investors because they can get in at a, at a price that's much lower than it's been in, but they're getting in with a company that's growing and expanding. Every month we're adding more distributors and our biggest problem is going to be keeping up with the demand, keeping up with the product that we're going to make, not of having customers. We have no problem selling our product. It's a matter right. of getting the capital to be able to expand this and grow our market share. Do you have any investors on the sidelines looking at the company? Many, many. Every, every week, John and I are talking to new investors. And we're kind of particular on that because we'd like to have, instead of traders that are looking to get into something, investors that are looking at a one to two year plan. If yes. we're given two years on this, the current price of the stock might have one or two zeros behind it. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what we're looking at. How, how soon do you plan on trying to uplist? Do you have to hit some criteria milestones but before you can get going? Well, this year, our, our first goal is cash flow positive. Okay. We're right now looking at that in the next few months, hoping to get to that cash flow positive. Once we're at a break even, our profitability, our gross margins on our product are substantial. We have a cost of goods of around 20%. Our distributors make about 40 to 45 percent. So we're looking at a wow. 35 to 40 40 percent profit margin. The moment we hit that amount, which should be in the next few months, all of a sudden our profitability is going up, our interest from larger institutional investors, and of course the share price. The share price, before we start looking at large investors, we'd like to appreciate a little bit more before we start looking at taking in big monies. Sure, sure. What, one other thing I'd like to mention, uh, John, is that, you know, we, we have skincare products, we have uh, oral products, we have the, the primary RCM. Don't think we're quitting there. John and I are looking at new opportunities that we can introduce in our space to the average consumer. And we're pretty excited. We can't give you any details now, but watch our watch our press releases. I think in the near future, you're going to see some other new great products that we're going to add to the stem tech line. Uh, and, and they're all going to be dealing with stem cell, what, whatever, moving, migrating, releasing. The, the miracle of the stem cell is just beginning in the world. And if you just go into Google and you, and you Google it, what they're finding the stem cell effects from your health to your organs, from your eyes to your toes, it affects us. And we have the way to release them naturally, to cure the body itself, where the body can actually heal itself. Now, if somebody t looking at the business model, your opportunity to own your own business, if somebody watching is interested, I know you need to talk to an actual distributor. How do they find somebody? If somebody was actually interested in selling your products, using your products, they, they wanted to get into the business, how would they find a distributor? Just reach out to somebody on Google or do you have some other way of finding if, someone? If they contact us at our, our corporate headquarters, we'll put them in touch with somebody that identifies with them. Maybe it's in their area. Certainly yeah. it'll speak their languages, but we're here to help. And so anything that uh, a consumer wants to know about our product or how to get involved, John and I are here to help them. Fantastic. So you're a, you can take care of any questions about the business, finding the product, getting a distributor, getting into the business. You guys are the go-to. Yes, sir. Well, and if somebody wanted to just log on to our website and inquiry and you know reach out and say, please contact me. Uh, our customer service department or what we call partner services would facilitate that and we can get them connected as Chuck said with someone in the area or in the country or wherever you know speaking the language that they speak to help them move along 
And this is a very, you know, should be a very easy process to communicate. Stemsec's interest is to increase the quality of life through health and finance. We, we want to help everybody. Well, there's a lot of people out there that need help and would be willing to take it. You know, it's a matter of, as you said, getting the word out there. People can't choose you if they don't know you exist. And the opportunity in other places in the world, I think, is hot. I really do, because when you give people control of their health, when you give them control of their finances, you're giving them control of their life, which is the biggest freedom anybody can feel in this world, that you have control of your own life. And you you're know, a lot of things with, with, with your products and your business model. You know, John, one of the things that's really critical here for everybody to understand is that you can join to be a consumer of the product. You can join to become an independent partner, business partner, and do it as your business. But the entire thing through here is you are in control. You can do as little as you want or as more, more than, than you want. It's up to you. It's the freedom for you to run your own life. It's not a nine to five. This is whatever you want to make it. Right. And the, the nice thing about it is, is that when you work hard, initially launching your business and you get your three, four, five people, you work with them and then you let the momentum take over and they start working. And before you know it, you're on the beach and you've got your 300 people cloning themselves. And next thing you know, you've got 800 people in your group and you haven't done anything else. You know, I'm not saying you're doing nothing, but the hard work is done. The residuals start coming in for your hard work. And that's what I always loved about MLM. You didn't forget about my hard work two years ago. It's still paying me today. And, you know, one of the benefits of being part of the STEM tech family is that whatever motivates you, whether it's just to consume the product or you want to share it with other people or you want to do enough business so that you can qualify to go on a cruise, which we just did last December on the South, Korean, uh, South Caribbean with uh, 60 of our top leaders. You know, that's an incentive. You know, I qualified to go on this trip. It was free because they did the, they met the qualifications. And similarly, there's a trip to Europe later on this year that people are qualifying for. And so it's not just about the money. It's not just about the health. It's also about recognition and yes. acknowledgement that people yes. have accomplished something. And we provide that for them as well. That was the biggest thing about multi-level marketing is that your accomplishments were always recognized and praised. When my father was in Glenn W. Turner, we used to go to conventions monthly, go to hotels all over the country. And they would have these wild conventions where positivity was all it was about. They had buzzard bats. You got hit in the head if you said anything negative. It didn't hurt you. But I mean, it was about getting people revved up. Go to an Amway convention. Oh my God. I mean, everybody seems to be on stimulants there. They're singing songs. They're dancing. And when they go home, they're, they're ignited. They set the town on fire. And that's what I like about multi-level marketing. It isn't a business that drags you down. It's a business that picks you up with a lot of people holding you up. The support is unbelievable in multi-level marketing businesses. We're so proud of the people that we deal with, though, because the people that we deal with are a high caliber of people. They're ethical, they're concerned about their health, and they want to help people. And it's a treat for John and I. We get calls from them all the time. They're telling us new waves. We're actually going to start videotaping different factors and ways that our distributors introduce our product out there and offer meetings on that where they can see how other people that are successful are doing that because it's just a whole new genre. Yeah, this is a, the great thing. There's no trade secrets. People want you to be successful, so they tell you exactly what you can do to be successful, how to get better. They'll stand by your side. They'll hold your hand. It is one of the best business opportunities in the world, in the world, because you've got more support than you're going to get in any other business. And it's your business. It's yours. Today with hyperinflation, John, the average family needs an extra income. The average guy that's an accountant or a bus driver or a school teacher, they need this extra income. So now they're getting healthier. They're not seeing the doctor as much. And they're also making money on that to pay for the increase in steak and eggs and everything else that we're seeing today. 
Yeah, multi-level marketing was the original work at home business. Before COVID, there were lots of people looking for ways to work at home. Then the computer came, opened up more doors. But now you put the computer together with multi-level marketing, you've got yourself an explosive way to reach millions of people. And then throw AI onto it so you're not wasting anyone's time and they're getting the purest information possible. Honestly, I think your business is sitting on the precipice of an explosion because people want health after COVID. Man, that is on everybody's mind. With the economics, we all need money and we all want control. It seems like a win-win-win situation for your company, in my that's, opinion. That's why our excitement is today, because we feel the whole world is open to us. We don't have an over-concentration. Somebody coming <laughs> in today, the true statement of ground floor is there at STEM Tech. You have the track record of the product, but a ground wow. floor opportunity is a business opportunity. So we've covered a lot of information here, but maybe I missed something. Is there anything you gentlemen would like to volunteer to our investors or or could be investors? Well, I'd like to say, watch us and get on board and be part of the success or sit on the sidelines and do what you're doing now and tell yourself later, I woulda, shoulda, coulda. <laughs> there you go. It, Tommy, you know, it's your choice. Tommy to me is important. I couldn't think of a better time for an investor to start looking at STEM tech as investments, a small, small investment for where we could be. If you yeah. look at five cents today from $11 when it just started out and all of our investors cashed out, we're looking for the next group of investors putting money in right now. And that's what the stock market's all about. Buying when you have something that's proven, but that it's low and taking advantage of it as it grows. We think right. we're at the prime time for investors and uh, our in independent business distributors alike. Yeah, your, your company offers a lot of opportunities that most of our investors aren't used to seeing. I mean, to look at a company and say, I'm gonna invest in that is one thing. To look in that company and say, I'm gonna work for them, but it's really gonna be my business. That's a whole different uh, way of looking at it. And I hope, I hope the investors, I'm talking to you people out there now, I hope you really do your due diligence on this company. If you're looking for a way to make extra money, this is a way to do it. If you want to improve your own health, improve your family's, your friend's health, help them make money. Take your time and do your due diligence beyond just the company's fundamentals. Look at the company's opportunity. Look at the company's products. There are a lot of benefits with this company. And I was Damn excited to share this all with you, folks. Really was. And I'm happy to have you gentlemen here with us. And Gabe, I'm sorry you never got to pop in, buddy. Let's get a word here from Gabe. Hello, Gabe. You've been very patient back there. Is there anything you wanted to add, Gabe? Um, no, you guys covered just about all the bases. Uh, the one thing, you know, I'm going to give you a little bit of my experience. I came in, uh, I've been working with Chuck Arnold for the last 15, 20 years. We've done many deals together and I came into because it's, it's, it's exciting. It's exciting what he's doing here. And I, I told Chuck, I said, you know, uh, we were having some problems with the stock. How it kept coming down, creeping down. And I said, Chuck, let's forget about the stock. We start increasing what we are supposed to do, which is the bottom line. And I, just a couple of days ago, it hit me. I had not logged into, uh, into my account. You know, every IVP gets a page and you get to log into your yeah. back office and you look at, you know, people you signed up, how much money you're making, right? Yeah, yeah. And then start noticing that I'm getting deposited between a hundred to two hundred dollars a day on on revenue, on commissions yeah. from all these people that I've been talking to and some of them are signing up, some of them are signing more people and some are just buying product. And I'm going, only shit works. And on top of that, I'm fifty one years old. Okay. There's no way that you could guess I'm 51 years old. So I I look at this product as me getting an opportunity of being given 10 years of my life back. So that is what this product does. It gives you back years of your life to do whatever the hell you were trying to do. If you around for the last 10 years and you're like, oh my God, now I got to play catch up, right? <laughs> well, guess what? We are going to give you STEM tech, STEM release. It's going to give you the time back for you to be able to work effectively in making up for that time that you've lost, which is eventually what I did. I, I, I did a bunch of crazy stuff for, you know, six, seven years, eight years. And I feel like STEM release is giving me back those 10 years. You're working really hard in Mexico right now, aren't you, Gabe? 
I am. Mexico is actually our, our country where we are growing by leaps. Um, I am in Chiapas now. Um, you know, a lot of things are falling into place on the political side and on the sales side. But I came out here and Chiapas is one of the most, uh, the poorest state of uh, Mexico, right? Oh. And it's starting to, I mean, people are spending $1,000 to be our distributors. In a, in a state where they have a hard time putting food on the table. Right. And, and so it, it, it just goes to show you the poorest states, the poorest people are able to find ways to afford this. And there's some people that tell you straight up, I would rather take my product than put food on the table or pay my bills because it's changed their life. And the great thing is, is that choice really isn't there because they can take their product and put food on the table because they're so excited about the product. They are the testimony. They're They're excitement. I go see movies when I see other people excited about the movie, not the advertisement on TV. It's when someone is excited. Man, you got to see this. It was great. I'm there, buddy. Exactly, man. So this thing's about to blow up. You know, everyone I talk to in the multi-level marketing uh, 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 side, I keep telling and I tell them what we're doing and, and they all tell me the same thing. It's only a matter of time before you guys ex- explode like crazy. It happens on every company. You grow, you grow, you grow, and then it just blows up. And so you don't want to be outside of Semtech when we blow up. You want to be an investor or you want to be in our uh, in our company. At well, this you're time. in so many you countries. Really participating. You're in so many countries with a hot product, with the AI and the computers helping multi-level marketing now, which to me is just truly mind-boggling. I know exactly. how much work I had to put in without any electronic devices to help me. You had your phone and you had your car, and that's what you had. And it was a lot of work. Now I can see this. I mean, a little bit of work can go a long ways. And when you have a product that sells itself, when you have the opportunity to make money, and you're in war- in countries that don't, have these sort of opportunities that don't get the opportunity to make their own money, own their own business. That's exciting. I remember how I felt when I got to choose my own hours, put in my effort. And when people patted me on the back for doing a good job, I really liked it. I liked it a lot. So I think you're right. You are here all at a good time, hot product. The world is your oyster. And now that you've got AI and the computers, this could explode big time. It's going to go big time. On the right track. You know, j- just think about it. You know, all those people in the U.S. or in in Ecuador or in Colombia or in Mexico, there's always a tie-in. There's always a tie-in. You sign somebody up in, in the U.S., they may have relatives in Mexico, in Ecuador, in Colombia. Next thing you know, yeah. they are now bringing in people from other countries. Right. And you make money no matter if they're in Ecuador, Colombia, Canada, or the U.S. So you can see Gabe here is excited about it. There's well, nothing to not be excited about. This thing is going to blow up. We are going to go. And it's, it, you know, you guys were talking about the price being 11 bucks when we were just hemorrhaging money. Now we're about to lose. The, the, we're about to go out of the losses and start actually making a profit here right around the corner. And we're at five cents. And we have about, um, what, 45, 46 million shares in the float, right, John, around there? Right. And, and um, we uh, have had some great investors that came in when the stock was around two or three cents. And they said, you know what? You guys do what you're doing. We're going to go in there and just accumulate as much stock as we can at this level. So there's been accumulation for the last four or five months of the stock. Go look at the look at the, look at the charts. Look at the bond records. They're accumulating the stock. The stock is going to have a tiny float before you even know it. And you know what happens when you start talking, you know, profits and you have a five or ten million um yeah. flow i mean you know we're it, that's right around the corner i mean it's it's literally right around the corner you hear it folks we are looking for going into profit we're looking for the revenues to start growing explosive growth planning on uplisting this is an exciting time to be looking at the company especially at this price we have hit a one hour mark here, folks, and I know all of you got things to do. So we're going to cut this short right here. And I want to thank every single one of you for being with me today. Thank you, John. Thank you, Chuck. Thank you, Gabe. Lots of information. Hopefully, we can have you back later when you go into profit. We can all be excited and share that together. Let folks, us know when, John. Thanks for your interest and time today. 
podcast. Oh, it's been my pleasure. Been my pleasure. Remember, Thanks, folks, do your own due diligence. Don't let this company down. I brought you some of the information to get you excited and curious, but it's up to you to do the rest of the due diligence and sell yourself, not only on the company as an investment, but as a, an opportunity, not just for your financial gains, but for your health and those you love and care about. Sounds good, don't it? <laughs> Thank you, gentlemen. We will talk to you later. Thank you, viewers. I'll be talking to you later. I'm John Zadar. This is On Top and Hot. See you, folks.